Microsoft 365 licensing can be very confusing. Well, in this video, we're going to be talking about Microsoft 365 business licensing, and I'm going to help you make the correct decision when it comes to selecting the correct license for your Microsoft 365 users in your environment. I've got a lot of businesses that have come to me asking me, which one is the correct Microsoft 365 um, licensing for us? Well, the honest answer is it depends with your environment and the number of users and their roles. Well, you are here probably because you've got the same questions. Um, you're trying to figure out which one is the correct license for your organization. Well, in this video, I'm going to be explaining the five most common Microsoft 365 business licenses or subscriptions that are out there. I am going to talk about their features and benefits and also we're going to take a look at their costs um, and also that can then help you when it comes to budgeting the correct Microsoft 365 licensing for your business users. If you are a business owner or an individual who is looking for the correct license for their environment, well, this is the correct video for you. So without further ado, let's get into it. Hello everyone, my name is Cliff and I would like to welcome you back to this channel where we like to learn, share and grow in technology. Well, today I'm going to be discussing one of my favorite topics, which is Microsoft 365. And particularly, we're going to be looking at the licensing um, aspect of the Microsoft 365 business uh, subscriptions. Before we get into the Microsoft 365 licensing aspect, I just want to give a brief overview of what Microsoft 365 really is to those who don't know. Microsoft 365 or, or Office 365, if you call it that, is a suite of business applications and services uh, designed to enhance productivity and also security in your business organization. Choosing the correct license for your business is very crucial, not only for the security of your environment, but also for your budgeting. All right. So you have to know what license to choose for um, the number of users in organization or for certain users in your organization based on their um, roles or responsibilities in your organization. For instance, um, if it is a school, uh, you know, you, you, you need to have a correct license for the teachers and a correct license for the students. So that's what I'm talking about. So we're going to be talking about that in this video. As I said before, uh, today we're going to be looking at the five most common Microsoft 365 business subscriptions that are out, are out there. It is important to note that with Microsoft 365, you can actually mix and match licensing uh, based on the roles and responsibilities of your users in organizing. So please keep that in mind as we're talking about this. Like, you know, I'm not actually implying that if you select a certain license, then you actually have to have that across all board for all users. No, you can actually mix and match depending with the features that we're going to be talking about here and if your users need those features and if they if they don't you can actually choose you know a different um license for those for, for those particular users so please keep that in mind when you're talking about this all right so let's get into it first up we're going to be looking at microsoft 365 apps for business this plan is perfect for users who only need the core microsoft applications like word excel powerpoint outlook well, this is priced at $8.25 per user per month or at $99 per user per year. It is a cost-effective option for those users who only need applications and don't require all the other services that come with Microsoft 365, such as emails, collaboration, or, or storage, you know, like OneDrive storage. So this is basically just the applications only. And with this, you get to, in, to, to be able to install your applications on up to five of your computers. And also you get access to the web versions of those applications as well. Next on the list, we've got Microsoft 365 Business Basic, which is ideal for um, users needing online collaboration tools, 
such as Teams, SharePoint, and Exchange Online. Now, this is priced at $6 per user per month or at $72 per user per year. Like again, I said, this is um, suitable for businesses that don't really need the desktop versions of applications on their computers, um, but still require the basic online productivity and collaboration tools. So they can still have um, access to the web version of the two or, or, of um, Office applications such as uh, sorry, such as Word, um, Excel, and PowerPoint. All right. So they can still use those applications on the web, but they cannot just install it on their Mac, um, MacBooks or iMac devices or um, their Windows PCs. But if they can still install it on their iPhones uh, or Android devices. Now let's look at the third subscription, which is Microsoft 365 Business Standard. Um, this is like a combination of apps for business and Microsoft 365 um, Basic, all right? So you get a combination of the online and desktop versions of Microsoft applications, along with the collaboration tools like Teams, SharePoint, and Exchange. And when, when talking about Exchange, each user gets a 50 gigabyte um, mailbox and also one terabyte of one um, drive storage, all right? Looking at the cost of this, this cost $12.50 per user per month, or if you want to pay annually, it will cost you $150 per user um, per year. All right. Um, this is perfect for businesses needing a comprehensive suite of productivity and collaboration tools. All right. Next on our list, we've got Microsoft 365 Business Premium. Now, Microsoft 365 Business Standard and Business Premium share a lot of similarities, such as you know, a 50 gigabyte uh, mailbox or one terabyte um, storage. However, Microsoft 365 Business Premium has a lot more advanced features. Now, this costs $22 um, per year. Uh, sorry, $22 per user per month or $264 per user per month. Now, let's look at some of these advanced features that come with Microsoft 365 Business Premium. Um, it comes with things like information protection, which safeguards your corporate data from being leaked into the public. Um, it comes with the Defender for Office 365, so Defender for Office 365, which protects your mailboxes from um, malicious attacks like spam and phishing um, threats. It also comes with Intune, um, which is an awesome product. Uh, which is used to um, apply security policies on your corporate-owned devices, such as your laptops, desktops, tablets. And one of the cool features I like about this is um, it can actually remote wipe devices that um, you know are stolen from your organization. So the next set of licenses that we're going to be looking at um, are the Microsoft Exchange plans. So there's plan one and plan two. Um, the difference is mostly in the capacity. Exchange plan one comes with a 50 gigabyte um, storage mailbox per user, whereas the plan two gives the users a 100 gigabyte worth of storage in their mailbox. So if you are an organization that only needs a reliable email hosting service, then Microsoft Exchange plan one and plan two are probably the best fit for you and your users. So there you have it. Those are the five most common Microsoft 365 business subscriptions that are out there. And as I said earlier on, you can mix and match these licensing in your organization to optimize costs and also to customize your Microsoft 365 solution. So before making a decision, you need to consider your objectives, your security needs, your data protection needs, and the, the roles of your users. Well, that's a wrap for today's video. If you found this information helpful and insightful, please, um, I would appreciate it if you just press that thumbs up button. And also don't forget to subscribe to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. All right. 
So guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope you have a pleasant day or evening wherever you are. All right. Till the next time. Bye for now.